everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing and showing you the Cricut Maker 3. The Maker 3 is the latest Cricut Maker machine in the Maker series. There's two Maker machines. We have the Cricut Maker, the original, and then now we have the Cricut Maker 3. This machine came out back in 2021 and I've been dying to get my hands on it ever since. So I'm super excited to unbox it, show you the entire setup process and show you exactly what this machine can do. I do wanna thank Cricut so much for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go ahead and get right into it. Today we are talking all about the Cricut Maker 3. This machine is the latest maker machine from Cricut and it retails for $429. It works with over 300 materials such as vinyl, iron-on, cardstock, leather, mat board, and so much more. So let's get right into the unboxing. So here when I open up the box, the first thing I notice is the envelope on the top that's labeled Cricut. I'm going to go ahead and just open it up and let you guys see exactly what's in the envelope. Here is just a little note that says let's get started and it shows you what you need to do to activate your machine which is go to Cricut.com slash setup and there you can set your machine up. Next in the envelope I noticed that there is a sample sheet of the smart Cricut removable vinyl in the color black, which is great to have for your first sample cut. And it is labeled, like you can see here, right on the back so you know what it is. And then also in that envelope was all of the warranty information that comes with your machine. You'll notice in the box there's even more packaging. Cricut is always really great about using lots of packaging to make sure that the machines stay secure when they're in transport. So here I'm just taking the machine out of the box and then I noticed that it was wrapped with some of this plastic wrap. So here I'm just getting that all removed and then this is what the machine looks like all unpacked. It's just a really beautiful pastel blue color with the silver on the lid. Digging farther into the box, you'll see that the machine comes with a USB cable and then also it has the power adapter so that you can plug your machine into the outlet. In the bottom of the box, I noticed there is another package of sample materials. Once I have the package all opened, I noticed there's four different materials that they give you to try out. The first one is the Cricut Smart Paper Sticker Cardstock. And as you can see here, it's labeled exactly what it is right on the back side, so that if you're new to Cricut, you know exactly what each material is. The second sample piece is just a larger sheet of the Smart Removable Cricut Vinyl in Black, just like the smaller sheet that they give you in the welcome envelope. And then the third one that they have is the Smart Iron-On Vinyl in Black. And then the last sample piece that they gave you is just a sheet of Cricut transfer tape. Now moving to the actual machine, when you open up that top lid, a bottom tray falls right on down, and in that tray you have some storage, so if you wanted to put some of your Cricut materials or Cricut tools in there, you could, as well as some storage off to the side on the top here. You have two small compartments if you wanted to place some pens or the tools. Then for around clamp A and B, they had some storage to hold things into place. Once I remove that, here I'm just showing you clamp A. You can do one of the Cricut styluses or you can use your Cricut pens to write or draw in that side. Then for clamp B, this is where you're going to put any of your blades and with the Cricut Maker 3, it already does come with one of the fine point blades. Although the Cricut Maker 3 does come with the fine point blade, the Cricut Maker 3 can also do so many other functions like writing, drawing, foil, embossing, engraving, it can cut wood and even fabric. So if you were wanting to utilize those other functions, you would need to purchase the tools for that separately. On the right side of the machine, you'll notice it has a few buttons. We have the power button, the up and down arrows, which feed your materials in and out of your machine, a play button, and then also a pause button. 
The Cricut Maker 3 is a smart cutting machine and on this maker it has sensors here on the outside as well as on the inside and those just make sure that the smart materials that you're using in the machine are straight and then also if you have enough material for the project that you're doing. On the bottom tray, you'll notice it has two guides, both on the right and left side. And this is just to guide your smart materials or your mat into the machine. Or if you wanted to use this Cricut roll holder for those larger rolls of vinyl, you can do that as well. Just keep in mind that the roll holder you do need to purchase separately. But as you'll notice on the back side of the roll holder, it does have those grooves on the right and left side, and those just fit right on those guides on the top tray. Now I will say that the Cricut Maker 3, since you can use smart materials with it, you can use Use those smart materials without a mat or you could still use a mat just like you would if you had the older Cricut machine models. The Cricut Maker 3 is Bluetooth and wireless, but you can use the USB cable that it comes with if you'd like, and it just plugs right into the back of the machine. And then we have the adapter that comes with the machine, and that plugs right into the back of it as well and then into your outlet. Now that my machine's all plugged in, I'm going to cricut.com slash setup to activate my machine. And here, if you don't have a user ID, you can create a Cricut ID. I already have one, so here I'm just gonna be doing my login so that I can activate my machine. So here, once I'm logged in, it'll show you can either do for smart cutting machine or your heat press. Obviously, I'm doing a smart cutting machine, so here I'm just choosing that option and then choosing the Cricut Maker 3 since that's the machine that I have today. Once I have my machine selected, it then just tells me to make sure that I have at least 10 inches of workspace between whatever is surrounding my Cricut machine, and then also just telling me to plug my machine in, which I've already done. Next, it'll prompt me to connect my Cricut Maker 3 either using the USB cable or to use the Bluetooth. I'm doing the Bluetooth option and I've got it all set up. Next, it will show you that you are getting Cricut access for free for 30 days. So you can either sign up with your free trial or you can do no thanks if you don't wanna do that, but I would definitely utilize the free trial. Now I'm gonna be doing the test cut and it's just this Cricut label here and I'm gonna be using the materials that came with the machine and it's prompting you to make sure that you have your fine point blade in your machine and then also telling you how to insert your smart vinyl sheet that came with the machine. This is the sheet of vinyl that we saw earlier on in the video that came in the package of sample materials. And here I'm just gonna be placing that smart vinyl underneath those little grooves and then underneath the white wheels on the front of the machine. Then I'm just gonna be selecting the blinking arrows to insert my vinyl into my machine. Once the vinyl is all in your machine, you'll have a prompt telling you to select the blinking play button on the front of the machine. And here I'm just gonna be showing you how it blinks and then you just press that button and it starts the cutting process. When cutting smart materials with the Cricut Maker 3, it is two times faster than the original Cricut Maker. You can still utilize using the mat with the Cricut Maker 3, but just keep in mind that by using the smart materials, it is gonna cut your projects so much faster. After the test cut is all complete, it'll prompt me to unload my material from my machine. So it'll have the blinking arrows and here I just press that and it unloads my vinyl. I've got my test cut complete and I have cut the vinyl down into a smaller square and this is what it looks like once it's all cut. Then I do need to weed my material and you will need to get some of the Cricut tools to be able to do that and those you do need to purchase separately. 
So we had the sample cut that I did. I'm just gonna be using one of my Cricut tools that I already have. Weeding this Smart Vinyl is super easy. I found that pretty much anybody can use a Cricut machine. There's so many tips and tricks on the Cricut website now that can help any beginner out. This is what the vinyl cutout looks like all weeded out. And then now I'm just gonna be using some of the transfer tape that came in my box. I'm cutting that down to fit around my Cricut design. Once I have that all cut down, I'm then gonna be using my little Cricut tool to help me pull the backing off of the transfer tape. Once I have my transfer tape ready, I'm then just placing it over my design. And then I am gonna be using one of the small Cricut scraper tools to then press that vinyl onto the transfer tape. Once I have it all transferred onto the tape, I'm then gonna be placing that vinyl on the tape on whatever surface I wanna place my design on. And in this case, I'm just gonna be putting it on the back of my machine. And here I'm just getting it centered and then pressing it down with that Cricut scraper tool once again, and then just removing the transfer tape. Now that I've got my first test cut done with my Maker 3, I am gonna show you a little bit in the design space. They have so much, if you are a beginner to Cricut and you've never used a machine before, in the Get Started tab over in Design Space, it'll show you beginner courses, downloadable resources, so that if you're new to Cricut, you can learn. And then also there is a tab on the left called Cricut Learn, and that is gonna be like an essential if you're new to Cricut. It talks about all of the machines, that there's different workshops you can do, pretty much your number one Cricut resource. So it's really nice to have if you are a Cricut beginner. And then here's a look at the Cricut Design Space Canvas where you're gonna go to create all of your projects. And that wraps it up for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I hope that you will consider subscribing. Please be sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching.